Google is doing some absolutely amazing things. And it's not just dropping a quantum chip and figuring out stabilized qubits. In Willow, their quantum chip that dropped December 9th, 2024. But if you look at what the entire Google DeepMind team is doing, it is absolutely mind blowing, if not straight up revolutionary. Now, as a former SEO marketer, which I still do, I just do it all with AI these days, 25 times smarter, faster, cheaper, better. I was not impressed when Google launched AI in search in June of 2023. And even in 2024, when SGE or search generative experience became AIO, AI overviews, I still wasn't that impressed. And I stick to a statement I have made before that Google is the king of technology, not so much the king of deploying products. I mean, we see this even in their product marketing, which can be very much off base, if not straight up untrue sometimes. But that doesn't mean that their technology isn't going to change the world. And you better be paying attention to what Google DeepMind is doing. In today's video, I'm going to tell you all about it. We're on the wait list for Google's VO2, which is their new state-of-the-art video generation model. Looks pretty cool, a direct competitor to OpenAI's Sora. But in this video, I want to focus on what Google is doing in XR and VR. VR is virtual reality, XR is extended reality specifically Android XR, and how Google is literally extending the reality in front of us with their new platform, Android XR, a partnership with Samsung and Qualcomm. The announcement about Android XR from Google launched December 12th, 2024. The first device will launch for purchase in 2025. It's built by Samsung and the device will be called Project Muhan. The Android XR headsets that will launch have the potential to absolutely change how we interact with the world around us. And let me tell you, after studying this space, I believe it will coincide with the metaverse. I believe that AR, XR, and VR will be a huge piece of the future coming at us. I think that Meta was too early with the metaverse, but they are on track with where the world is headed. That said, there is a fine line there because I, for one, really enjoy my fresh air and sunshine. I probably need to get a little more of it, judging from how pale I'm getting and away from the fluorescent ring light, but I don't plan to spend eight to 10 hours of my day behind a headset in a room with closed blinds lines, but I will tell you, I absolutely do plan to use, if it's built, a lightweight, comfortable pair of glasses that have the ability to augment the world around me and make it a better interaction for me. For example, imagine arriving in a new country, you don't know the language, and you honestly don't know who's going to come up to you and know your native language. Well, that's a really big barrier to exploring that country. Imagine putting on a pair of glasses. And in seconds, the glasses can translate to you any language that anyone tells you back to your native language. And then whatever you say, it also translates instantly in that other person's native language. Well, let me tell you, I would feel a lot more confident traveling across the globe. And that is just one use case for extended reality, which is where we can mix reality with the augmentation of technology adding to that landscape right in front of us real time. I know that once this is figured out in the product world, it has the potential to completely change how we all interact with Earth. And I believe Android XR from what I'm seeing has the potential to be that product. I'm surprised that Apple Vision Pro hasn't nailed it. Their headset is simply too heavy. I would never want to purchase it or buy it. Check out this photo of someone wearing Google's new smart glasses. I've read articles that are real life reviews from people that have demoed these glasses Glasses. Google is not allowing photos or videos of this new product yet. But when you look at this image, those glasses look pretty natural and lightweight to me. It's unbelievable that the technology Google is talking about is built into a lightweight pair of glasses. Wearing these glasses, you can walk up to a painting, ask who the painter was, what style you're looking at, what era it's from, and the glasses powered by Gemini's voice assistant will actually answer answer you. By the way, if you remember Google's IO developer conference this year, they gave us a sweet little drop preview of these glasses. I mean, it 
kind of had me drooling under the code name Project Astra. Well, Android XR is the extended reality platform Google has built to bring Project Astra to life. Reviewers from Wired and The Verge say that these prototype smart glasses made them feel more like Tony Stark than any other product ever has. The way that real-time translation happens with these smart glasses is unbelievable to hear how it's described, where the user can actually see the words dangling in the air in front of them and watch as they are translated and spoken back through the Gemini voice assistant in the glasses real time. I mean, what? That sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie. To give you the full picture of what this will look like, check out these videos that Google released going over their prototype smart glasses. I don't know what I'll be wearing tonight. How's this? Awesome. Send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity cards is a good choice. Let's go. Hey, Gemini. Yes. <laughs> Which one is spicier, the beef bulgogi or the bibimbap? Bibimbap is spicier, bulgogi is sweeter. An alternative would be to hang them staggered for a more expressive approach. Let's go with the first option. How do I get started? Step 1. Decide on shelf placement and mark the wall lightly with a pencil. Use a level to ensure they'll be straight. Where did I put my level? I saw the level last on the console next to you. Place the level on top of the shelf and adjust until the shelf is even. If you remember more than a decade ago, this idea Google presented of something called Google Glass, the idea crashed and burned, it was discontinued. But with Apple releasing the Vision Pro, Meta with Ray-Ban, Google is absolutely back in the game and Android XR from the product demo so far looks to be maybe one of the best smart glasses coming our way in the VR and XR space. And this all links back to the Google DeepMind team. On November 2024, Google DeepMind's CEO, Demis Hassabi, was on Google DeepMind the podcast, where he talked about this golden age of discovery we are living in. This talk can be directly linked to a paper that Google DeepMind's team released in December of 2024, it's a 36 page paper actually called a new golden age of discovery. And I'll link to it in the YouTube description. I want you to listen to a clip from the podcast released this November, shortly before the deep mind discovery paper came out where Demis Hassabi talks about this golden age we are entering in. The moment where we're going to have a sort of a, a vertical takeoff as it were on, on progress. I think we are on the cusp of that. I, I really do feel like we're on the brink of a new golden era of discovery, like like the whole uh, of today's you know symposium is called. Um, and I think what we need is a lot more interdisciplinary science. So using AI, bringing it in the right way, asking the right questions with domain experts. Um, and I think this, it's, it's almost limitless what its applications could be. And of course, AI itself is a scientific discipline and is improving all the time. So there's, there's applying today's technologies um, uh, directly to the other fields. Um, and then there's also continuing to improve um, AI itself. And that, that as well is, is a sort of exponential improvement. So you know, there's a lot of, um, I think, uh, progress to be made in just the next few years. Be open to the interesting things that will open up for you. And then I think we're in, you know, one of the golden ages of biology and AI and biology. And it's really fun to live through that. And so I think, like, don't be afraid to be locally optimal. Just basically the opposite of Demis's advice. <laughs>
<laughs> I believe that the convergence of artificial intelligence, augmented reality, quantum computing, and new forms of energy will, to use ChatGPT's favorite word, unlock brand new levels of innovation we have only dreamed of. And I don't think it has to be Skynet. I think that our liberation as a human race, trained through long years of the Industrial Revolution to only attach our value to economic productivity, to driving a paycheck. I believe that that will fall by the wayside as we enter this era of explosion where technology comes together with the power of the resources we have built, the innovation from bright minds in this space, giving us something absolutely incredible to harness, a resource that's actually beyond our dreams. And if harnessed properly, it can usher in the democratization of creativity. It can decouple us from the need to wake up every morning and get to a job to pay the bills. And I think that if we put our minds together to figure out the post-labor economy in time, we install tokenization, we drive a form of UBI for humanity, and from that, use AGI to make smart investment decisions, thus creating UHI out of that UBI, well, I think there's a way to tie this coming great age of technology to actual abundance for all of us, not just a circle of a few. And that is what I'm here as an individual creator, not sponsored by any of these big companies. That's what I'm here to tell you. That's my vision. And that's what I want to share with you in the days ahead. It's an honor and a joy to speak to so many smart people. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read the majority. And for those of you that picture this bright future and match that with what's coming in technology, I say keep dreaming, keep building towards what we can have. It is a new golden age. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. If you want my team and I to personally help you build your first movers advantage so you can crush the coming age, go to firstmovers.ai and book your discovery call. We do custom AI integrations, build end-to-end -end solutions that can 25x your efficiency and catapult your business forward. I look forward to meeting you. And as always, I will see you down the next rabbit hole.